So good techniques are learning a piece, right? If well, of course, if you read music, get the sheet music and just try to learn bits at a time. But if you're learning in a more natural way, in the more jazz way of just listening, then I think you have to break things down to its smallest component. So if you're a drummer and you're trying to learn the rhythm, just try to learn the rhythm of one part of the drum set. What is the right simple doing? Okay, once you figure that out, then see what the left hand is doing. I remember when I started to play jazz drums, I only knew one beat. It was like ding, 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 cut, ding, ding, cut, ding, ding, like the left hand was always playing two and four, which is kind of very like a rocker, you know, pop type of thing to do. And then I remember I heard this jazz drummer come to my uh, class and he was like playing all this cool stuff with his left hand. I'm like, how's he just playing all this random stuff? Until I realized that was actually the tradition of jazz drumming, um, that the right cymbal would keep the sign and the left hand and the right foot would be playing accompanying rhythms. And so I wanted to learn how to do that. So now when I went to listen to recordings, I understood what the right cymbal was doing. It was gonna play the same kind of quarter note pattern with a little, you know, uh, syncopation, ding, 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 ding. So I didn't need to listen to that as much. But what I started listening for was, what's the left hand doing? What's the right foot doing? How are they interacting with the right hand? And so I started to develop my vocabulary because I knew what to focus on and what to listen to. So when learning anything, if it's a certain technique or a song, you have to hyper-focus on the little parts. You know, you get the big picture, understand, okay, this song is A, A, B, A, that's the form. I know that, got that in my back pocket. Now, what are the chords? Okay, once I learn the chords, okay, what is the melody? You have to compartmentalize because if you just try to attack something all at one time, it can become overwhelming. So for me, it's always about breaking out the little pieces and get what I can and then building on top of that. Because as music gets more and more infinitely complex, you have to simplify if you want to be able to digest anything.